What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, joined once again by special guest Robin. You're watching He Spoke Style, and today we're talking about the best first date colognes. So when I started thinking about this video, I thought it was gonna be pretty cut and dry, you know. I'll pick five fragrances that I think would be good uh, in a first date situation. I'll talk a little bit about them. Robin will give some commentary on each one from a woman's perspective, and at the end, will all come out having learned something. So when I brought up this idea to you, um, you were like, it's not that easy, hold on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yes it is. And she was like, no it's not, <laughs> really. So we're gonna start off with the female perspective on first date fragrances. And I have to say that I was actually a little surprised by some of the things that you brought up. So when you first said something to me, I said it, the first thing is that most women don't care about the fragrance on its own. It's mostly about if I like you and we're on a date and I can smell your cologne, I'm gonna connect the cologne with you versus like have a, an experience with the cologne by itself. So the cologne won't like sway you one way or the other. I mean, I think if it's like, if I like you and I get a whiff of it and it's a good cologne, it'll maybe sway me, but okay. <laughs> I don't think on its own, the cologne would be like a make or break. You also mentioned something that it could have like potentially uh, like a negative connotation too. Well, if I think if I don't like over time, if like we were dating and we broke up, like your scent, if anyone else had that scent on a date, I might have a visceral reaction to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like an old high school boyfriend or something that used to wear drug car noir. Or like noir. sometimes you wear something and I like the scent, but it reminds me of like a family member and I don't want to like connect with you and think about a family member at the same time, you know? Never a good thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So now that we've laid down the foundation to start with, fragrance is not the most important thing on a first date, but could have some sort of effect. I did actually go through my collection and choose five fragrances that I think would be good picks for a first date. Um, I chose a bit of a range all the way from fresh to what I would call sexy. Um, and I did try to choose some that were a bit off the beaten path without being uh, too kind of wild and out there. You know, just so it would maybe be something that a date might not be familiar with, um, have a little bit of intrigue while still being kind of, you know, inside the box. So let's get to them. Okay. So now the first one I chose is from the Xenia mm -hmm. Senze collection. This is Italian bergamot. Um, it's very clean, uh, very fresh. Uh, to me, this would be like a very safe, very conservative option for a first date. What do you think? I like it. It's very clean. It's subtle. I feel like this would be a nice sway. I think, I think this is what I was wearing the first time we went out. Really? Yeah. Okay. Good thing I said I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, um, keeping in that kind of fresh category, we have an all-time classic, Creed's Green Irish Tweed. Um, it's also very fresh, very clean. Uh, to me, this has more depth okay. than um, the Italian bergamot, and it's not quite as light. I think you know this one. Um... Yeah, it's, it's clean like the other one, but I feel like it's, I don't want to say stronger, but there's definitely something different and more unique about this one. Right, it has um, ambergris or ambergris, okay. um, which uh, is something that helps the fragrance have more of a staying power, mm -hmm. so it won't wear nice. off quite as, as yeah, quickly. Yeah, I like reads because a... of that, like it's not overwhelming, but they last all day. It's nice. I like this one because it's a little more unique mm -hmm. than the Italian bergamot. I mean, this is like nice, and like yeah. I said, it's safe and conservative, but this one has a little bit more. Um, so if we were, on, we were on a first date and I wore this. I'd be into it. Yes. And maybe you. <laughs> maybe me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one here is by Amouage, and this is called Dia for Man. Um, this starts to go more towards what I would call the like classic man kind of fragrance. I wouldn't call it a fougere, um, but it has some of those qualities. It's kind of like aftershavey, but like a way more elegant and light version of that. Um, okay. I, I know when we spray it on here that... that Let me um, smell in the bottle first. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, when I spray it, I know it's going to seem a little overwhelming, but okay. on the skin, in my experience, it's much more subtle. Um, I think I even mentioned it in a previous video being a very good first date fragrance because of that. 
in the bottle it had like a powdery smell to it. Is that right? I think it smells very different here. Mm -hmm. Just like when you go in this, the department store and you smell everything. I feel like it's kind of that <laughs> smell. I, li I mean, I like it. I don't know that it's as... I like the lighter ones, I think, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think this one, when, when I wear this... it's yeah, When do you wear that? It's definitely lighter. Um, I think it's a good... It is it is a good date fragrance because, like, you're going on a date, like, you don't want everyone to be smelling you. Mm -hmm. I think it's, like... Fragrance for me is, like, something you might... You should be, like, sharing with the mm -hmm. person you're with. And this one, I think, really invites, like, you to, like, lean in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not too far in, though. No. It's a little, <laughs> it is a little stronger than the others. Right. Yeah. All right. Next up is a more classic fougere from Roja Parfum. This is Scandal. Super classic. Very old school. This one, to me, is kind of a no-brainer. It's very masculine, um, and it's a great take on this style of fragrance. There we go. It's almost like spicier. Yeah. I like that because that is stronger than the other, the first two, but it's not overwhelming. It's still subtle in a way. I like that. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's like, for me, this is like that classic kind of aftershavey, like, like your grandfather, but not your grandfather. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I like it. All right. First date approved. Winner. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we have the sexy. This is Tom Ford Tuscan Leather Intense. The name speaks for itself. It's very leathery. This for me would be the one that, you know, if I thought we had a really good connection before the date that I would totally wear. Like, like this is the one if I like really wanted to get into your pants. <laughs> well, mm, that's nice. You could get in my pants with that. <laughs> I know what I'm wearing tonight. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's really it's leather. Unique. Leather. Mm -hmm. It's more rugged, manly. Would you say so? Would it, first date? How would you know you're going on a first date trying to get in someone's pants? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think either of these are a good option. Um, it kind of depends on the season, of course, the time of mm -hmm. day, where you're going, which one I, I would choose. Mm -hmm. All right, so those are my five choices. Now, there is a very important question that often comes up in the conversation about first date colognes, and that is, should you even wear cologne on a first date? That's a good question. I'd say, well, if you, are, if you know you're getting in their pants, maybe that one. But <laughs> if it's something classic and very light, I would say yes. But I'd also say first date, you don't know, like, how small of a room you're going to be in, if it's going to overwhelm, you don't want it to take away from you on the first date. Mm -hmm. You want like you to shine, not me to be thinking about like this guy's cologne. Right, versus right, what you're right. Saying. You want to be memorable, yeah. not not yeah. the fragrance. Yeah. So, so I think we agree on mm -hmm. this point that if you are going to wear a uh, cologne of some sort, that you need to wear it tastefully. Um, Less is more. Right. This is not a time to be too much cologne guy. Um, so we're talking about maybe one spray like. You know, right on your chest, on your bare skin, right before you put your shirt on, just to have a little bit of something, but not anything that's going to overwhelm or be a turnoff to your date. And on the chest versus your clothing, because you know you're going to hug the person at the beginning of the date, likely, and say hello. So you don't want to have, like, just sprayed a lot of cologne on your clothing, and then you go to hug someone, and it could kind of come off on them. Right, right, yeah. right. I always think that fragrance has the ability to be, like, mysterious and sexy in some way. Um, and those feelings that it could potentially bring about with the, the lady you're on the date with only happen if it's kind of on the more subtle side of things. So as I mentioned, these five fragrances are from my personal collection. I would love to hear some of the fragrances that you all think are great first date fragrances. Leave those down below in the comments. I will put links to each of the fragrances I mentioned in this video down in the description. 
big thank you to Robin once again for sitting down and lending a woman's perspective to a very important topic that a lot of guys ask about all the time. Thumbs up if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored. These are, yeah, those are the pants stands. <laughs> those are clean. <laughs>